Well, all too often, the state house is a forgotten part of American government. Yet the country's state legislators have huge power, controlling more than a trillion dollars in taxes and spending and laws that affect everyone. So for the last few months, we've been taking a close look at what happens in those state houses and how the state lawmakers use their power. Louisville, Kentucky, and a private party at the famed Churchill Downs racetrack was the setting for this year's annual gathering of the country's most prominent state legislators. The most influential group of leaders that we've ever had. And over the course of four days, it was one blowout party after another, put on by lobbyists for big companies eager to seek influence. Apparently is an annual tradition, but what was different this year was the presence of five university graduate school journalists on assignment for ABC News with cameras out in the open and questions about the whining and dining. Do you think taxpayers back home would like to see their legislators partying it up at Churchill Downs? They probably wouldn't like it, but they don't like most of the things that they do. The students' footage provides a rare glimpse of what watchdog groups say is an unholy alliance that has been forged between lawmakers and lobbyists in the country's state capitals. Not something they were always eager to have seen on national television. The parties at night were nonstop, with big name country entertainers brought in to perform, and fine Kentucky bourbon flowing freely, leading to some unwanted attention aimed at one of the student journalists, who found herself cornered and kissed by a lawmaker from Puerto Rico, Jorge Navarro Suarez. He later said that because he has difficulty understanding English, he was just trying to get close so he could hear her better over the noise of the party. When public officials act in this kind of way, it's, it really raises the question of whether they're fit to serve uh, and represent their public. It wasn't all parties at the lawmakers' convention. During the day, there were speeches by national lawmakers and sessions on budget deficits, layoffs, and the need for integrity in state government. Integrity, meaning ethics, is a very big part of what's important today, particularly in the public eye. But that message was not heard by some, including a number of state lawmakers who were on the golf course at the same time as the ethics panel, including this group of Alabama lawmakers being hosted by a lobbyist for the state's gambling and bingo interests. One of the lawmakers told our student journalist to stop asking questions or okay. else. And, you know, are you out here golfing instead of attending the conference, or? No, I'm out here. Uh, I have nothing to say. Nothing to say? Nope. And how, how's the, how, you know, how are you Look, enjoying? If you don't want me to take this to you, gentlemen, leave. Yeah, gentlemen, it's a private. The five journalism graduate students took on the project of America's State Houses after being selected as fellows with the Carnegie Corporation and assigned to ABC News for the summer. And as we'll report tonight on World News with Diane Sawyer and Nightline, they found compelling evidence that the Little Watch state legislatures have a disgraceful record of misbehavior and corruption, a lot worse than just trying to get close to a pretty blonde student, Robin. And these were not hidden cameras. Now, these were cameras out in the open, so even as he was trying to kiss her, uh, her colleague, another one was there with the cameras. All right, All right Brian, thank you for that yes. investigation.